you have so many beautiful serving things and you hardly ever have any company. Oh, for years now, my mother has been giving me shower gifts on my birthdays. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only kid in the world, I'm sure, that got a waffle on on her 16th birthday. <laughs> My fancy tablecloth, your good silver. Which mm. is also my everyday silver. Mm. My everyday silver is plastic. <laughs> but who's coming to dinner? Oh, it's Jack and Linda Foster. Jack and Linda? Mm -hmm. All this fuss for a couple? Ah, well, they're very special people. No, special people seldom come in couples. <laughs> Listen, all I know is that Jack and Linda have something really great going. I mean, of all the married couples I know, theirs is the kind of marriage I would like to have for myself. I would like Pat and Dick Nixon's. <laughs> Why? You know he can't fool around. But I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, there's plenty of food. Why don't you stay and have dinner with us? I mean, it's about time my friends met each other. I would really love to, Mia, but I gotta go out and break up with a guy tonight. Ah, I didn't know you were going with anyone. Oh, yeah. This would have been our second date. <laughs> well, if you've only dated him once, why don't you break up with him on the phone? I gotta give him his ring back. He <laughs> bought you a ring after one date? No, he had it with him. Oh. It was adjustable. <laughs> it had a decoder on it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, man. Oh, Linda, don't you look great? Well, that's what a week skiing in Aspen will do for oh. you. Baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How are you, beautiful? Oh, I'm fine. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Rhoda Morgenstern, I'd like you to meet Linda and Jack Foster. Oh, right. I am so glad to finally meet you two. Yeah, same here. Mary has told us so much about you. Mary, you were right, kid. Hmm? They are nice. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go. Hey, maybe I can get a couple like them for myself. And we could quadruple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm -hmm. mm. Doesn't it drive you crazy? People who can eat anything they want and never get fat like Jack. <laughs> and you. Mm. I get fat? When? I am fat right now. What are you talking about? It's true. I got on the scale this morning and I weighed 120 big ones. <laughs> the diet begins tomorrow. You're incredible. Yeah, how much do you weigh? Almost as much as you do. Yeah. Linda, why can't you make coffee like this? <laughs> Mrs. Olsen... <laughs> Why can't I ever make good coffee? <laughs> hey, why don't we finish our coffee in the good coffee idea. area? Ah, Jack, remember that crazy Greek brandy you said you liked so much but you could never find? Oh, yeah, the kind with the tree inside the bottle. Guess who found some? Ah, oh, Mayor, I've said it before, but after Linda here, you're the girl I'd marry. Well, I keep telling you, get rid of her. She's not your type anyway. Lady? <laughs> ah, uh, yes, happy little tree. So, tell me all about Aspen. Hey, met a great guy for you. No kidding. What's he do? Kisses wives. What? The rest of the time he's a ski instructor, but mostly he uh, kisses wives. Jack, you're not going to tell Mary about that, are you? Come on, you tell me your ski instructor stories, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> well, I was three chairs behind them on the lift, and I saw him kiss her. Well, he took me by surprise. What'd you expect me to do, jump off? I mean, he just grabbed me and kissed me. Huh. What was I supposed to do? Uh, what do you think those sharp points on the end of your ski poles are for? <laughs> then you think this kissing ski instructor would be a perfect guy for me, huh? Well, I don't know, Mayor. I, I don't know what kind of guys you like. You never said how you liked Arthur. Arthur who? Arthur, the guy we fixed you up with? Last week? Oh, right, Arthur, right. The, the one who hums a lot. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the one. How'd you like him? Oh, he was, uh... Very nice. That's funny. I kind of like him. Well, listen, I've still got lots of single friends, and we're going to keep trying till we find the right Good, one. Good, you hang in there, because I'm pulling for you. <laughs> Am I too late for dessert? No, come on in. Oh. No, no, sit down. How'd it go? With Leonard, you mean? Mm. See, I had a date tonight with this guy I was going to break up with. Oh. So, did you? Nah, I couldn't. Why not? He didn't show. <laughs> First ten. We're on the air in ten minutes. Well, he went to get a haircut over two hours ago. I don't know what's taking him so long. Well, maybe he's trying to find a barber who gives lollipops. <laughs> the ratings came in. Oh, how are they this month? The question should be, where are they this month? <laughs> uh, listen, if Ted doesn't show up, I think we'll try a little experiment. Go on the air without him and see if dead air does better than he does. <laughs> Oh. Well, 
How do you like it? Ted, it's terrific. Would you buy a used chariot from this man? <laughs> and my hairstyle. How do you like it, Mayor? Well, Ted, it's, it's just... I, it's... I think so, too. <laughs> Look at this. Notice how it all falls naturally back into place? Oh, yeah. Everything but your eyes. <laughs> Ted, I cannot believe that you would spend money to have your hair styled. Uh, when you're a big celeb, you can work these things out, you know? I uh, told him I'd plug his barbershop on the news. Oh, well, Ted, I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. Oh, sure you can. Of course, I didn't tell him he'd have to be robbed, burned down, or picketed before I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <clears throat> what do you think of your new anchorman? Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> you can't believe the jerk we've had up to now. <laughs> it's not funny, Lou. Ted, you're on the air in I four know, minutes. I know, I know. Oh, Mary, look, if your car's still in the garage, I'll give you a lift home after the show. Oh, well, thanks anyway, Mary, but I have a dinner date. Huh? New boyfriend? No, no, I'm an old couple. Hmm. Fosters are picking me up. Ted, I'll be there in plenty of time. Have I ever missed a show? No. <laughs> Excuse me, is this where I'll find Mary Richards? Yeah! Hey, Mary. <laughs> Give me just a second. All right. Ted, good friends sometimes hug each other. Of course, you'd have no way of knowing that. <laughs> you must be Jack Foster or Murray Slaughter. Hi, nice to meet uh, you. Lou Grant. Lou? Hi. That's right, it's me. <laughs> what are you doing here so early? You weren't supposed to pick me up until seven. Oh, no. Oh, well, I, I, it's been one of those days, Mary. But see, the thing is, I don't know if I can get away early. Go ahead. I'll cover it for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Grant. Where's Linda? Downstairs? No. Oh, is she going to meet us at the restaurant? No. She's not sick or anything, is she? No, no, no. She's fine. Just fine. Uh, it's just that uh, we're separated. I believe that you and Linda aren't going to be able to work this thing out. I know. It's Hiya! Ruta, what are you doing here? Mary, you should never go out and leave your bathtub running. Oh, no, I did? No, I did. But uh, it dripped through a little. But I mopped it all up, so don't worry. Gee, if I knew Mary was having company, I would have used my good sponge mop. <laughs> huh. So, Jack, I see you found the right guy for Mary at last. Oh, uh, Rhoda. And you, you're not so dumb, kid. <laughs> you pick a great couple for friends, so you're right there when the husband's available. No, no come uh, on. Rhoda, listen. So where is sp- Linda, you two? I'm not sure. Oh, ho, ho. Oh? <laughs> oh! Oh! Why don't you hit me? Oh, oh sir. I, I, I am so sorry. Really, I could die. I could just drop dead on this very spot. I, I really... She didn't know. I know. Hey, I didn't know. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? It'll just take a minute, then we can talk some no, more. No, Mary, thanks. I've got an early tennis game tomorrow. Oh? With my lawyer. Oh, Jack. No, has it gone that far that you have to play tennis with your lawyer? I, I guess it has. Well, I just feel terrible. I wish there was something I could say or do. You, Linda. Oh, it's enough that you care, Mary. Oh, I do. You know, I'm glad we had dinner together like this tonight. Hey, me too. And I'm sure you guys are going to be able to work it out. You're both too good to let this happen. Thanks, Mayor. You're a good friend. Me too. Well. Well. <laughs> Oh, boy, you you really know you're separated when you're afraid to hug your friend. Now, come on, That's Mary. Right. <laughs> That's silly. silly. You know what really bothers me? They're seeing their lawyers. Now I'm afraid they won't get back together. Well, it all depends on how good the lawyer is. If he's really good, they don't have a chance. Yeah. You know, that's true, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, my cousin. Oh, he was the greatest divorce lawyer. He used to chase cars with just married on the back. Uh, <laughs> terrific, Rhoda. I am really upset, and you're making jokes. Mary, I'm only doing this, dear girl, because you had the tendency of taking these things like they're the end of the world. And they're not. I- I'm not going to say any more. The next thing I was going to say would really shock you. Oh, gee, Rhoda, I kind of doubt that. All right, here it goes. Your friend, Jack. 
Yes. Formerly of Jack and Linda. Mm-hmm. Is going to call you up and ask you for a date. No. <laughs> Morgan Stern predicts. Well, I wouldn't go out with him. No, I know. Not on a date you wouldn't. But if he asked you out to discuss his marriage, would you do that? Well, of course I would. That will be your first date. Well, I've already done that. Aha. I'm one for one. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Jack. Well, I'm fine, thank you. How, how are you? Oh, listen, I'm glad we had that talk, too. You're welcome. Oh, Jack, that's a great idea. Linda will love it. How could anyone say no to dinner and roses? Me? <laughs> uh, well, okay, sure. Uh, Eight, eight o'clock will be just, just fine. Bye. Well, the reason that I said yes to going out with him is because he wants to see me as a friend. I understand that. <laughs> now, would you like to hear Morgan Stern's next prediction? No! <laughs> but Leon... I did mention your barbershop last night on the show. Right before the revolution in South America. You probably just missed it. You saw the whole show, huh? Well, I thought I did. Look, I'll, I'll do it tonight. Look, Leon, I said I'd plug your shop, I'll plug your shop. Just don't worry about it, Leon. All right. What are you working on, Merck? Oh, uh, a story about a meeting of all the Arab chiefs of state. Any chance of working the name Leon Silverman into that? <laughs> Hi, Mayor. <laughs> Good friends like us sometimes do that. No, they don't, Ted. Not ever again. <laughs> Mary, you see this tie I'm wearing? Yes, sir. Uh, Janie gave it to me, and I haven't had the nerve to wear it. But I'm having lunch with her today, and I think I ought to. But, well, I don't know if I can go through it. Uh, what do you think? Well, Mr. Grant, I like it. Yeah? Look, it's bright, it's wide, bright in style. Hmm. I guess everybody likes it. <laughs> if only it was somebody would say they didn't like it. I don't like it, Lou. <laughs> I think it's really hideous. My daughter bought me this tie. Oh. Let me look at it again, though. Maybe under another light. Hey, Murray, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. Would you say you and Marie have a good marriage? Is that your question, or did my wife leave a message while I was out? It's my question. No, well, I guess it's a good marriage. But on the other hand, I also think this is a good job. Why? Oh, I know. I just... It's good to know there are some good marriages left. Yeah. I could only think of one thing that could make us get divorced. What? If she invited Ted for dinner. Uh, well, everybody takes divorce so lightly. Well, it's not so rare, Mary. It happens a lot. Hey, Ted, remember that show we did uh, last week on the divorce? Did you remember the statistics? Of... What was that again, Mur? I almost asked Ted a question. <laughs> Go ahead, Murray, ask. It's all right, Ted's all right. Ask me, please. Well, do you remember that night we did the show on divorce? Yes. <laughs> Mary, why all this sudden interest in divorce? Are you planning on getting married? No, no, but my friends, the Fosters, are splitting up And, well, last night I was out with Jack Oh, you were out with Jack? No, Murray, I wasn't out with Jack I was out with Jack Hi there Linda! I know it's lunchtime, but I took a chance you might be here. Linda! Well, Linda! Well, hi! Uh, gee, I'm, I'm glad you did. And, uh, well, listen, now that you mention it, how about lunch? Gee, I can't. I should be at work now. Uh-huh. Well, uh, you want to have lunch, or...? I can't. Right, you said that. <laughs> but, Mary, there is something I wanted to tell you. 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'll check the wire and see if anything broke on the Leon Silverman story. It's about Jack and me. Oh, Linda, I know. You're separated. It was the shortest separation on record. Oh, Linda, that's great. I knew it would work out. Well, it did. We're getting divorced. <laughs> Wait, is that for sure? Yep. Mary, I was tired of being a housewife. I have my own identity. I want to fulfill myself in other ways. Well, what are you going to do? First, I'm going to start dating again. <laughs> hey, have you met anyone interesting lately? Oh, uh, well, yeah, but uh, you wouldn't like him. No. <laughs> Well, if, if I meet somebody, maybe we can get together. Sure, sure. And let's keep in touch, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. You know, Mary, I love sitting next to you. The guy who used to sit at that desk only talked about crabgrass. <laughs> We're so uptight about Jack. Okay, I know you and probably everybody else thinks I'm really stupid. It's been five weeks. Jack's not upset. Linda's not upset. But me, I am upset. Well, like they always say, in a divorce, it's the little one who gets hurt most. <laughs> I know you're right. It's silly, isn't it? Yes. No, it's not. Rhoda, I just, I can't go out with him again. Tonight is the last time. I just don't feel right about seeing him on a dating basis. Mary, we've been friends a long time, right? So I'd like to give you a little bit of advice. You're a dummy. <laughs> You think it's perfectly all right for me to go out with Jack? Man, not only do I think it's all right, the whole world thinks it's all right. Lawrence Welk thinks it's all right. <laughs> they are getting a divorce. It's in the courts, Mary. If you don't go out with them, you're breaking a law. Rhoda, it's so hard to have a discussion with you. You never have an opinion. Hi, Mayor. Hello, Jack. Hi, Rhoda. Hiya. Oh, Sorry, hi. I'm early. That's all right. Well, it's 8 o'clock. I better get upstairs and make my bed. Rhoda! You mean a girl like you staying home tonight? Incredible, isn't it? Hey, Rhoda, listen. Why didn't you come with us? Huh? This, it would be all right, wouldn't it, Jack? Well, sure. No, I could not. Oh, come on. Look, we're just going to dinner. Come on, Rhoda. We're not going anyplace expensive or anything. I, I don't know. Well, how about if we go someplace expensive? Then I'll go. <laughs> Boy, what a fancy restaurant. I mean, everything that came out was flaming, including the busboy. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it, Rhoda. Oh, yeah, I did. But, you know, it was not right that you paid for me. No, 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 no. My pleasure. You didn't invite me. Mia did. Right, Mary? Yeah. See? She can pay for me. <laughs> Come on, sit down. <laughs> I uh, guess she figured we wanted to be alone. Ah, uh, yes. I knew I'd like that girl. Mary, I think it's time for you and me to be honest with each other. Oh, uh, gosh, Jack, I don't think it's time for that. <laughs> now, listen. No. Uh, please, uh, you know, even when Linda and I were married... Absolutely you... not. Mary. Okay. Even then. Didn't she ever wonder what would have happened if you'd met me before? Oh, no, no. You know, maybe somebody like you, you know, sort of exactly like you, but uh, not you. Well, I'm like me. Jack, I just don't feel right about it. You, Linda, what if you two got back together again? I mean, boy, there would be a real mess. I, 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 <laughs> I know what you mean, but we won't. Linda is going out. She's dating that guy, um, Arthur. The Hummer? <laughs> right. So, uh, so what do you want to do? You know, I just figured out what's bothering me. It's so simple. All I have to do is make sure that Linda doesn't mind. Oh, but, but she won't mind. Okay, I'm going to go see her tomorrow. And tomorrow night, if you're free, I will fix you the most fantastic dinner. Terrific. Mary, um, as long as you're going to be talking to her, I'd, I'd like you to ask her something for me. Sure, what? Ask her what cleaner she took my gray suit to. <laughs> Hi, Mary. 
Hello, Linda. Come on in. Well, everything looks the same. I thought it would have changed a little, but it hasn't. It's exactly the same, almost. <laughs> oh, Mary, you remember Hi. Arthur Price. Sure, yes. Of course, you dated him. Right. You used to be a friend of... Uh, Jack's. And Linda's. <laughs> well, he still is. Aren't you, Arthur? Guess you might say that. Oh. I don't know how you ever let him get away. Oh, well, you know. Well, I've got to pick up those tickets, Lynn. I'll be back in an hour. Okay. Nice to see you again, Mary. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Mary, I've never been happier in my life. Oh, Linda, you don't know how happy I am to hear that. I mean really happy. I mean so happy I wake up humming. <laughs> how are things going with you? Now, how's that new guy you mentioned? Uh, well, it, it's uh, funny. Who should ask that? Because, uh, well, I guess that's why I'm here. Uh, oh. Look, I know you won't mind, but, well, you know me, dumb old Mary, super cautious, has to get permission. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that it's okay with you if... I see Jack. So it's okay with you, isn't it? No. <laughs> what? I don't want you to date him. But but you you just said... I know what I just said. Oh, and as far as I'm concerned, Jack can date anyone he wants. A cocktail waitress, a secretary, a bunny. But not you. Uh, well, why, why not me? Because I say so. <laughs> oh, well, I, I see. Um, what about after the divorce? No. <laughs> well, what about if you and Arthur got married? No. <laughs> well, uh, look it. Um, after you and Arthur are married, then you can't tell me no anymore. <laughs> and, uh, where's Jack's gray suit? <laughs> Mary, the most beautiful night of my life. Uh, I won't be able to believe it was real enough to get tell you about it. Well, sit down and tell me about it. Well, I thought you went out with Leonard to we, break up with him. Yeah, I did. Oh, we had the most gorgeous dinner. Candlelight, soft music, dancing. It was just terrific, really. Well, then you didn't break up with him. No, I did. And it was beautiful. I mean, all the chemistry was there, you know what I mean? Uh, we weren't kidding each other or ourselves. We knew we'd never see each other again. Oh. Well, you certainly look happy. Oh, sure. It's that special glow a girl gets when she's not in love. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi. Well, no, I just don't think we should go out. Look, you know why. Linda would be very upset. No, really, I just wish you wouldn't call again. Thank you. Goodbye, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs>